Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Eat. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the marquee matchups. Not necessarily give you solutions, but walk you through what I've been doing with trading and investing that always leads up to marquee matchups. I've been doing this live on stream and if you want to see my tips, I'm going to explain it in depth throughout this video. So please watch to the end to get the full picture. And as always, if you guys do enjoy, feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this episode. You guys have been killing on the RTG, constantly hitting 5 to 10 likes every episode, so we'll keep making them every day. But with that being said, I'm going to explain why silver trading with marquee matchups is so good for this reason. So the reward for completing all of them is going to be a rare Electrum Players Pack. That's not the greatest pack in the world, but you know it's going to give a lot of supply on the market with different cards. If we look, we get four different teams. Now, the way you can typically determine what the rating is going to be in the requirement is kind of the league. So you have this one, Manchester City versus Arsenal. You're going to need a minimum of one of those teams. Um, players in the Prem, minimum of two players from the same league, max of five. Really forcing you to use multiple leagues to get that chem of 75 two rare players and then chemistry um i mean rating 85 minimum and then chemistry 85 my bad that's going to get you a prime election players pack so let's go into this real quick just kind of show you um cards i have in my club and things in terms of silvers that could be useful for this so if we look right here prem players minimum of two and then the max from the same squad is going to be five so the thing that comes to my head right away is people are going to be going to BBL, whatever players they have, most likely there's going to be English links throughout the team because they're thinking, okay, how do I get to a different team out of this? They can go to the championship. They can go lower than that if they want. But if they stay with that England nationality, they can buy themselves kind of some free cards. So let's take a look at through some of these players that we have in here. We have some gold players that could fit in the team that are non-rare. We have some different nationalities of rare silver players that could fit that rare requirement. We have some different nationalities of players that are non-rare silvers in here. But the thing is, and this is why I bring it up every time I talk about silvers. If you use like, let's say a 65 rated player, unless your whole team is like 77s and 78s, you might struggle to get that 75 rating throughout the whole squad if you use multiple. So what I would recommend is throughout the week, try to bid on silver players. And I'll, I'll go to my silver list right now to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Try to bid on silver players that are high rated, right? If you do high rated silvers like this, they don't have to be um, rare. They can be non-rare because you can bid 150 on these guys. They're going to help you so much for SBC solutions, not only completing them, but it's going to give you so many coins trying to sell these guys. For example, if we tried to sell, I don't know who I want to use as an example here. Let's say this guy. Let's say, for example, someone wants to sell this guy. We picked him up for 150. How much is he currently going for right now? You could do at least 400 coins by now, but most likely we saw a French team needed for the SBC above us. I'm not sure exactly what the requirements are, but that might raise his price even more and we could sell them for potentially over 500 coins. That's a huge return on investment for a single player. But if you start bidding on players in different leagues and different nationalities, just have them stored in your club. You can sell them throughout the week whenever you want for 300 plus coins, but it's times like this where you're going to have everything you need to not only stop you from having to go to the market and buy silvers yourself, but you can sell on the ones you don't need to use for yourself and make a profit. So like, let's look at this one. OM versus, I'm not even going to pronounce that team name. Um, League One players, minimum of two. Players from one club, minimum of three. Rare players, minimum of two. Gold players, minimum of one. Team overall rating 74. Team chemistry 77. You get a small, rare mixed players pack out of this. So let's go in and kind of look at our French League Two, because that's going to be the league people tend to go to after this. And that's going to cause them to go up in price. So if we go to our League 2, let's see if we have any golds. Okay, so we have some golds. This is going to be useful for us. These non-rare golds will go up in price. We talked about the defenders, especially like outside backs and center backs will go up. But if you look for cards that can potentially link into other squads as well, that's going to be super useful for you. A way we see this all the time is you take something like the Premier League, 
where it's an English-based league in the sense of that's um, not necessarily where all the nationalities are from, but it's based in England. So that's kind of the base set nationality. If you go to the French league, you're going to have a lot of French players. Now, if you can find in the Premier League some Germans, some French players to link into the League One side, you're going to make coins that way. Those are going to go up in price. So if we go in right now, let, let's set French player as our go-to. and We'll just hit Silvers. Now let's see what kind of different leagues these are from. If you find people from different leagues, chances are they will be going up in price. So this guy we picked up for 250 You can sell him right now, it looks, for 1,000 coins. We can look at this guy, German center back. I have a feeling this guy's going to go way up. Um, we packed him, so we didn't necessarily bid on him. But even if you bid on him, like 300 to 500 coins, he is going for an insane amount right now, it looks like. Over 1,000 coins. So there's definitely profit to be made. Obviously, look at certain positions. If you have left wings, left mids, that's not always going to be useful in every team. But for this one, it is. One thing you can always be guaranteed, though, there will be center backs and there will be goalies. Most likely, there will be at least one striker as well. But these are kind of the go-to in every formation. If you can start packing yourself center backs, those are bound to increase in price. Now, let's go to a different set. Let's go to the lower end requirements. And this one is... Um, Silver players minimum of seven, team chemistry 75, rare players minimum of one, leagues minimum of three, and Scottish Premier League players minimum of one. So it's kind of open-ended. You're going to see silvers go up a lot in price here. Rares go up in price. And as you see, three center backs in the solution. That's going to cause the price to go up. You have outside backs. So if you have any left back or right back that maybe are lower rated but are silver players, you can feel free to put them in. Also, too, since it's a minimum of seven and there's no uh, requirement for uh, the rating, you can use bronzes actually in this. So if you do the bronze back method, you could potentially see some center back bronzes, some outside back bronzes, even like striker bronzes or bronzes in general go up in price, especially if they're rare. For example, let's take a look. And I know I'm saying some words over and over again. Like, for example, I apologize. Um. Bronze common, I'm not sure how much those are going to go up. But let's take bronze rare. Let's see if we have any bronze rares in our squad. So we have two. You have a right back and a cam. Let's see how much they're going for in price. So this guy right now, you could probably sell him for over 500 coins. And you think a bronze pack is worth 400 coins, you'd automatically make profit on that pack. This guy, he's going for around the same thing. You could probably get him for 600 to 700. Now, bronze packs are not always going to be the most profitable thing, especially this year with them taking away fitness cards but if you open enough of them and save them in your club till SBCs like this come out you might have 10 to 20 to 30 even sometimes 50 cards in a certain league that might go up in price for this you sell them all you make a profit there now let's go into the last team and then I'll kind of show you my club and see if anything's selling right now so this one's sporting CP versus FC Porto you're going to need a minimum one player from these teams um, players from the same league, minimum of three. Players from the same nation slash region, max of three. That's a really good requirement. Goal players, minimum of eight. Quality players, minimum of silver. Team chemistry, minimum of 80. The reason why these requirements are so great, and you get a small prime gold players pack from it as well, not bad whatsoever. The reason why these are great, it's going to force you to have to use different nationalities and work your way into different leagues. Now, if we use Liga Nos, which it wants us to pull from, that's a very diverse league. Um, let me pull it up real quick. I think it's here. Yep. So if we take a look, we obviously have a lot of different gold cards that could be going up in value. For example, if we use him, not only is he 81 rated, he's Spanish, so he's good in a lot of SBCs to begin with. He's over 3,000 coins already. Um... I'm trying to see any other players that could potentially be good. Otavio, he's Brazilian. He's a rare. He's typically around a discard, but it looks like he's going up to about at least a thousand coins. So it wouldn't hurt either if you just bid kind of the minimum on a lot of non-rare golds. You never know when they're going to go up. A lot of these guys, Brazilian center back. Let's see if that does anything. I'm seeing not too many. Okay, so this one is 2.6. I'm guessing he's going for around 2,000 um, since someone's really buying that one outright. 
You got a German here, so you could link into the Bundesliga or um, the Bundesliga League 2. Looks like you could sell him for a little over a thousand. There's definitely profit to be made at every step of the way. It doesn't necessarily have to be just silvers, but if we did do silvers, let's take a look at the sort of players we have. As we see here, we have some center backs, some rares. This is gonna cause them to go up in price. A lot of these guys, like I've been saying, I'm picking them up for the lowest price possible, not in hopes of just flipping them right away for profit, which you can do at any point, but holding them for these specific moments where you can make infinitely more times money on them. Um, so if that did help, let me know. Comment down below if you need any more advice. That's kind of the basics behind it, trying to put out in a simplified format. If you need help doing it or times where bidding works better or sniping works better, let me know. I'm still trying to figure all that out. All I know is you can never go wrong bidding minimums on silvers, whether that's rare or non-rare. They will go up in price and it has made me millions so far. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. It's Betty Boy Mumbley. I'm out. Peace.